Hello everyone, welcome back to Vegans, Veggies, and Vibes. My name is Amaris and today we're making banana cream pie. The first thing we're gonna do is heat up our milk on a burner at medium to medium low heat and we're gonna add cornstarch. We're gonna whisk that in until it's completely combined and allow for our mixture to start heating up. The reason we're adding cornstarch is because it's going to thicken our liquid. This first thing we're making is our pudding aspect of the banana cream pie. And so we want to make sure that thickens well. Once that's mixed in, we can go ahead and add our sugar and a splash of vanilla. Once you've added all of that, go ahead and just keep stirring until your mixture has thickened. Don't worry if it seems a little loose. It doesn't need to be fully pudding consistency. It's going to continue to thicken once it cools. In fact, you don't want it to be a full pudding consistency. All right, it's been a few minutes and as you can see, the mixture has thickened up quite significantly. You can see it bubbling there. It also looks really foamy because this is a small amount of liquid and since I'm whisking it, I am adding a lot of air. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but don't think this is something you have to do. It definitely does not need to look like that. As it cools, all those air bubbles are gonna pop anyways. But you can see the mixture's gotten a lot thicker. I'm gonna give it a few more minutes and then we're gonna set this aside to cool completely before adding it to the rest of our pie. All right, the next thing we're gonna be working on is our crust. So what I'm gonna do is take a handful of our walnuts and some of our rolled oats and put those in a pan. And we're not gonna add any oil to this at first because we're just gonna let those toast a little bit. A big thing about toasting is being able to smell when things are done and also by the look of when they're done. So we're aiming for these to look a little bit golden brown and for you to really smell the oats. And you don't want this on high heat. We only need it on medium to medium low heat. All right, once you have things toasted as much as you'd like, you can see mine isn't super toasted, but it's starting to become fragrant. There are some pieces that are more toasted than other, but others, but I do like when it is a little uneven. I think it adds nice texture, especially since we're gonna be mixing this together. The next thing we're going to do is just sprinkle in a little bit of cinnamon, add a little bit of sugar, and lastly, scoop in our coconut oil. Then we're gonna give this a good mix so that we'll all combine. And now that we have everything coated in our coconut oil and our cinnamon and sugar, we're gonna go ahead and let that cook some more. Make sure you continue to move this around so that it doesn't burn. So once you have everything toasted up, you're going to spoon it into the mug that you're making your dessert in. I'm using this awesome Westwood House mug from last year when we didn't have spring break. So I'm just gonna go ahead and scoop this in. And it's getting real smoky because of the uh, uh, coconut oil. Once everything is in, you can press it down with the bottom of a spoon if you would like it to be nice um, and flat and uh, more together the way a pie crust is or you can leave it kind of loose if you want more of a granola feel on the bottom of your cup. Either way, we're gonna want this to completely cool. So go ahead and set it off to the side. All right, the last thing we're gonna do before we start assembling is to caramelize our bananas. So the first thing we're gonna do is add some coconut oil to our pan and swirl that around, get the pan nice and coated. And then we're gonna take our banana and cut it into thin slices, such as these, and we're just gonna place them on our pan. You 
careful if your pan is still hot from toasting all of your uh, crust bits. I know mine still is. And once we have all of those in there, we're gonna sprinkle them with brown sugar and cinnamon. Try to cover all of your little bananas with the cinnamon and brown sugar and make sure you're only using half of what's in the packet for this because you'll want the other half um, for the other side of the bananas. Now these you don't really need to move around, um, expect like they're not being uh, sauteed in any way. Um, you want them to form a nice caramelized face on the pan. I'm just touching them all to make sure they're not sticking too bad. But we're gonna let these sit and caramelize for like two to three minutes over our medium low heat um, to let that flavor of the banana and all of the sugars really meld together. All right, now that it's been a couple minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and flip all my bananas over. You can see how along the edges they're starting to caramelize real nicely with all the sugars. And they are going to soften a lot. So don't be surprised, especially when you go to flip them. It's a little difficult. Oop, there we go. And that one. So now that we have them flipped over, we're going to add another layer of cinnamon and sugar. And make sure you're using the brown sugar for this part. Brown sugar um, has molasses in it. White sugar, they remove all the molasses. Um, actually, they don't remove it, they just add it in to brown sugar. Um, but that's why it's brown and it does have a different flavor because of that. And it adds a richness um, that white sugar does not have. So I'm just gonna give those a nice coating and leave those once again to sit for a few minutes and caramelize. While you're watching your um, bananas caramelize, be aware of the smell. If something smells like it's starting to burn, it probably is your sugar, and so you'll want to um, take it off the heat or turn down the heat. So just be smelling as you're cooking to make sure you're not burning your sugar in your bananas. All right, so I feel like my bananas are done now, so I'm gonna go ahead and take them off the heat and allow them to cool. And once all of my ingredients are cool, I can go ahead and assemble them. Hi guys, welcome back. Everything has cooled down now. Our crust is cool, our pudding is cool, and so are our bananas. So our crust should already be in the cup. The next thing we're gonna do is mix up our pudding. It's going to be a slightly different texture than regular pudding, of course, because uh, we made it with cornstarch, but pretty puddingy. So now the next way, the way that you uh, assemble your, your uh, banana cream pie is all up to you. You can put bananas first and then pudding and then whipped cream or whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna go pudding first. So I'm just gonna scoop that all in, kind of even it out. And then I'm going to scoop my bananas in and they're nice and crisp and crunchy. There we go. And then I would top it off with a big dollop of whipped cream. However, I forgot to buy it. So here, and this is much taller than a normal mug, um, but it should look like a decent amount in your mug. But here is our banana cream pie. If you have any vegan ice cream in your house, I would highly recommend throwing a scoop on top of that. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoy. See you next week.